sub season guy. Got another one. Another another song with Cole. We about to get into it. I'd like for y'all to subscribe to the channel. Y'all got to subscribe to the channel though. Help your bro out. So here we go though. And live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Webber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Boston Celtics. And now the Lakers starting group. Abdul Jabbar is out there with Kobe. Then there's West. Then it's Johnson. And it's O'Neal in at the center position. A foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. Now, here is Havlicek. Pass to Kuzi. Puts up a three. Can't hit that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Abdul-Jabbar kicks to Kobe. The tray. And the three ball is good. Bryant's got the opening field goal of the game for Los Angeles. And you really got to appreciate that swag that Bryant plays with. If you give him room to shoot from deep, he's going to make you pay. Russell High Post. It's blocked by Shaq. But they'll get another chance. Pierce, wide open. He fires. Good. He hits the jump shot. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. Bryant, that's for two. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. We play just over a minute here in the first. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. The setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. The shot's good on the assist by West. Nine points for Kobe Bryant. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here is Russell. To the inside, Pierce. Second chance shot. It's blocked by Shaq. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. But he gets it back. Who's he can't hit? The Lakers with a quick start to this game. Here's Bryant. And Kobe throws it down hard. Nice play. And you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, yeah. And, and Greg, they've been a more cohesive team over this stretch. And then that helps account for their lead. Boston off to a slow start. Nine-point game. Havlicek dishes to Pierce. Inside, here's Russell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Shaq. The Celtics shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. Chamberlain's checked in for Los Angeles. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside, Kobe. The three, Abdul-Jabbar trying to free himself up. The kick out to Bryant. Lock at six. Los Angeles keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Kicks it out to Johnson. And stolen by Russell. The pass to Kuzi. Here is Bird. Abdul Jabbar with the block. And beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. Times his move perfectly to get that shot. The kick out to Pierce. Boston, no good that time either. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. Oh, great ball movement there. Celtics trail by nine. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. 
Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. And the Lakers with some changes. Baylor, he's checked in for Bryant. And it's Scott in for Johnson. Here's Bird. Rebounded by Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar's got six rebounds now in the game. Just doing the job on the backboard. And yes, it's good. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Rondo passes to Bird. Here's Collins. Pass to Rondo. For three, trains it from beyond the arc. And every now and then, Rondo will surprise you with the occasional triple. Showing it off there with Ray. Now, here's Scott. Eight-point game. Baylor kicks to Scott from downtown. That one misses. Excellent tee there from Allen. Let's it go from 14. Rondo's shot is off. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Out to West. Fires the three. Sinks the triple. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, they got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide open three like that. And, and you look at all the things this man brings to the game. The focus, the resolve, a winner's mindset. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the logo. Jones checked in for Bird. Celtics trail by 13. Rondo passes to McHale. Here's Collins. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Rondo scanning the floor. The fadeaway. Rebound the Lakers. Chamberlain got his fourth rebound in this one. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Rondo dishes to McHale. 30 seconds left in the first. They need this. Rebound by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got rebound number seven for him tonight. I mean, come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. So both teams changing it up here. Jones against Gasol. Jones, the pass to Allen. Count it. Good. Well, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Worthy. Takes a three. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Los Angeles on... We... And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. Oh, at the defense spinning in circles. Hard to cover all that ground. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the floor for Boston. White is out there with Jones. Then it's Parrish. Then it's Allen. And it's Garnett in at the four. White against Goodrich. White, good. Los Angeles leading by 13. Now here's Goodrich. Outside worthy. A three ball. Hits it from three-point range. Goodrich has got five points now in the quarter. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. Oh, man, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. 
Goodrich against White. It's rebounded by Mikan. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. And here's White. Allen outside. Back to White. To end the run. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Two-time NBA champion Michael Thompson says the arm muscles, Chris, on today's players don't measure up with what they used to be. Is that even important? You know, he, he's right, but I don't know how important that is unless, you know, you just want to bring the gun show to the games and then pull out the arms and the curls and say, check out these muscles. But now I think, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a lot different. And make no mistake, even though that is a true comment, the players of today are much more athletic than his day and my day. And I think that's because of technology. They understand core strength. They understand dieting. They understand rest. Uh, and so many, uh, they're, they're privy to so much information that we didn't have. But yeah, uh, no more curls. Uh, it doesn't seem like there are any more Carl Malone 24-inch uh, pythons, brother, out there in any of these games. This is it to Kuzi. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by the Lakers. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. This one for three. Busted. No good that time either. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And Kobe gets it to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's the pass to Havlicek from deep. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. But it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. And the insane peripheral vision there. If anyone's open, even for an instant, Magic's going to find you. Kuzi passes to Garnett. Havlicek outside. Over Bryant. And that one's good from Havlicek. Havlicek's got five points now in the quarter. Okay, that's the shot he loves. I mean, unless there's a guy right in his jersey, he's going to convert. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. The Lakers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Baylor, he's checked in for the Lakers. West comes in for James Worthy. That one misses. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Here's the teardrop. Russell finds Pierce. Nice ball movement by Boston. Russell passes to Pierce. Down to five on the shot clock. Boston needs to get off a shot. Here's Cowens. The shot will not fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Bryant, that's in there. Johnson with the assist. And that's now 19 points for Kobe Bryant. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Havlicek with it. Baylor picks him up. There's 138 left in the second quarter. Here's Kuzi. And it's off the back rim. No good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. They get it back. West outside. Pass to Bryant. Over Pierce. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. He's got nine points on three-pointers in the first quarter, but still looking for his first three of the second. He kicks it to Havlicek. Here's Kuzi. That's his first basket of the game. One for six and looking for more. Los Angeles leading by 20. Here's Kobe. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the line for the Lakers. Kobe Bryant at the line for two. The 
first free throw is good. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. Both teams will make substitutions. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Boston Celtics. The pass to Bird. Over Baylor. And Bird with the basket on the assist by Rondo. You know, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. It has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. And, and look at hanging in the air, double pump, and then throws it down. And you see the D, they just stepped aside, <laughs> let him pick what kind of move he wanted to make. Wow. And here's Boston. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Bird against Baylor. Now here's Bird. Defense right on him. No good from 18. Outside Bryant from 13. Again, Los Angeles. Yeah, you got to know Bryant looking to shoot as soon as he gets the ball. The D can't give him any daylight. And so it's Los Angeles. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Jump, it's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They are completely in control of the game, leading. And that wraps up the halftime show, third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, I mean, he has been everywhere. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got West. Abdul Jabbar is out there with Kobe. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Johnson in at the point. Kuzi passes to Bird. No good that time. Shaq with some nice D. They double team Kobe. Pass to Johnson. For three, Kobe. They grab their own miss. And it's sent back by Russell. Wow. Look at the extension Russell gets there. That, that comes from great positioning plus the quick jump with the wingspan. Passes it to Pierce. Fade away. It's rebounded by Johnson. Pierce is gone. One for five from the field. 20%. And it's Kobe missing. They're having trouble getting going here in the second half. I mean, that's their fourth miss in five attempts. Knocked away. Pass break. The Lakers. Abdul Jabbar gets double teamed. Bryant, that's for two. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Havlicek, the pass to Kuzi. Here's Bird. Outside, Russell. Pass to Kuzi. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Paul Pierce. For Los Angeles, they have shot five of eight from the foul line. And he can't get the first one. But Celtics making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Good on the second free throw. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Kuzi passes to Russell on the wing, Jones. There's the pass to Pierce. And it's off from three-point range. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting him. And that one drops for him. Hey, how about that high release Brian has? Really helps him inside when the D there is attempting to smother him. Kuzi passes to Bird. They could use a bucket, and the layup is up and in. Bird's got his second basket of the night. And they get one. Now, one of five here in the third. They double-team Kobe. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. 
It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. Three-pointer, Bird hands it from downtown. Bird's got seven points. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Kobe gets the bucket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Kuzi passes to Bird. Russell looking around. Pass to Kuzi. Five to shoot. From 15 feet away, and there are the Celtics with another basket. And he's not going to pass up that one. And trust me, he should. He's solid from that in-between there. Outside, Bryant. Bryant is doubled over Pierce. Here's Scott. But they recover it. Well, that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. Oh, Russell in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And that's his strongest trait, the, the unselfishness from Kuzi. Fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has an opportunity for a clean look. For Los Angeles, they have taken 10 shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. 151 left to play here on the third. Here's White. Basket good. White's got his second basket. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. He is very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Shoots from the baseline. Parrish kicks to White. Nice touch on the bank shot. White's got eight points. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. It's a very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay -in. 54 seconds left to play in the third. Passes it to Allen. Worthy against Parrish. Five on the clock. Light the pass to Parrish. Shoots over Worthy. And it's Parrish missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Some changes for Boston. Havlicek comes in for Larry Bird. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Allen. The Lakers also making some changes. Shaq's checked in for Chamberlain, and it's Goodrich in for Johnson. Goodrich, that's good. Three. 24 seconds left here in the third quarter. White with it. He's got eight. He dishes it to Parrish. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And he's able to get it back. Locked again. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. Defensively, they have gotten after it. Contesting every shot going up. Don't go... Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this way? This is the versatility you need to play in today's game. Two guards have to be able to make plays for others. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. They've got Havlicek. Ajan Rondo is out there with White. That's Garnett, and it's Parrish in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Boston Five. A negotiating concession the league wants from the Players' Union. Prospect attendance, Chris, at the draft combine and team-wide access to player physicals. Well, this is a tough one, because I don't think that a team that is not interested in you should have your physical. 
And uh, we all know that information is shared, and so it, it should be genuine in the teams that are truly interested. So I understand agents holding back on that. Medical information is, is something very serious that just because you have an opportunity to be drafted, you know, your information shouldn't be spread all across the world just because you're at a combine. It'll be interesting uh, to see how it plays out, but basically you just want a level playing field for, for everyone. And, and if we have that, it'll be better for everyone. West is checked in for the Lakers. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Celtics trail by 21. Rondo with it. West picks him up. Yep, that one goes in there. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Goodrich. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. And the Lakers lead by 21. And really not the quickest release, but a nice fluid stroke. And, of course, Goodrich is a tremendous competitor. Havlicek. Worthy pulls it in. He's all alone. Pulls up. The offensive rebound. Shots good by Shaq. Yeah, and O'Neal, just a brute on the block. Simply overpowers the opposition. Rondo against Goodrich. Rondo's shot is good. Rondo's got four this quarter. Okay, listen, you got to body him up when he's in the paint. If you play off of him, then that's just two easy points. Goodrich against White. Goodrich, that's good. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Now a timeout called by Boston. And along with the association, we've seen the growth of the G League, the WNBA, the 2K League. Chris, which of those have you followed the most? Well, first, let me say I should have been drafted by the 2K League because I'm really nice. Matter of <laughs> fact, anybody listening to the sound of my voice, I will beat you in the game that I'm talking on right now. But secondly... I know you will. <laughs> I love the WNBA from Lisa Leslie to Cheryl Swoops to my girl Candace Parker. Are you kidding me? The skill set of these ladies? Oh, they have game. And I can't say I follow one the most because even the G League and their all-star game I follow. Right now it's a great time for hoops and all three of these leagues I'm in on. Tipped away. West with the steal. Here's Shaq. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Russell. Havlicek with it. West picks him up, and that one's good from Havlicek. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. On the wing, Bryant. And Kobe throws it down hard. And how about O'Neal zipping passes over to his guys, using that height to find open teammates. Pulls it from the elbow. Misses off the right iron. He makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. Here's the pass to Havlicek. And the dunk by Havlicek. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. They get it back. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Lays it up off the glass. And just look at the grace, the agility, versatility that Jabbar brings to the center position. Can beat you in so many ways. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Yeah, Greg, and it's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. With the G League growing by leaps and bounds, one is now being brought to Mexico City Club. I mean, first of all, let's go back to last season. Did you see how crazy those fans were in Jurassic Park in Toronto? Yeah, they love it. Can you imagine Mexico? Oh, my they God. Love it. This you would be great. It. Mexico City, yeah. Let's bring everyone in, all the fans. And what I really love is that it's for the home fan base. So when I think of the Toronto Raptors, I think about the city of Toronto. I think about Canada and how it's theirs. And even though we're one league, that team is theirs. And they take that pride on. And it just brings so much more excitement. Can you imagine all the people in Mexico City being excited for their team? Oh, I want to be at one of the first games when that happens because I know the crowd is going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. I want to be there. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Get open, get open. 
Here's Russell. A beautiful reverse layup. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Scott against Jones. And Byron Scott with the three. Scott's got his first three points of the game. And with how Scott's built, he generates a lot of power into his shot. That's why it looks so easy from deep. Allen kicks to White. Just five to shoot. Here's the floater. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, it, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. Parrish is checked in for the Celtics. And so it's Boston with it. Allen's shot is off. Outside, Scott. And the NBA 2K League, C-Web, the first eSport operated by a U.S. pro sport. And it's quickly growing. Do you throw down on the, on the sticks? Yeah, just a little announcement to all the GMs in the 2K League. I am available. I'm a free agent. I'm ready to go. I'm nice on the sticks. I can play career mode, team mode, one-on-one -on -one mode. Whatever you need from me, I am ready to go. But I love it, man. It's great to see people who love this game, whether it's virtual or real life. It, it, it's hoops, baby. So much fun. Allen kicks to White. McHale passes to Jones. Those three-pointers off the mark. Well, that's just a lucky break for the deep. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. Outside Baylor. There's the triple. Trains the three-pointer. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. Well, as long as they're hitting like this, how can you blame them? They're on a tear. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Jones looking for an opening. Allen for the three from beyond the arc and then some. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you. <laughs> yeah, man, let's talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here to come into an opponent's building and dominate the